This video will look at two different example problems using dimensional analysis to solve unit conversion problems. Our first example, at Harris Teeter, Al to store mustard, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but close enough, is $2.59 for 8.45 ounces. You can get 567 grams of Heinz mustard for $2.39. What is the price per ounce of each brand? And then which mustard is the better bargain? And then in this class, we will always give you unit conversion facts. You do not need to memorize them. They will be printed on the test. So we have that one ounce is equal to 28.45 grams. All right, so we've got two different kinds of mustard. Let's do each of them separately. I'll start with the Alster Poor Mustard. And I apologize for completely butchering its name. So we're trying to find price per ounce. And this one is relatively straightforward. It tells us that it's $2.59 for 8.45 ounces. So to get price per ounce, we need to take the price and divide it by ounces. So we can do $2.59 divided by 8.45 ounces. This tells us that it will be 31 cents per ounce. So that one was relatively straightforward because we already had the dollar amount and the ounces we just needed to, needed to divide to get the price per ounce. Then we've got Heinz. So Heinz is $2.39 for 567 grams. So this one's going to be a little bit more involved. I'm going to write it out first and then I'll actually have Excel do the math. So we know that it's $2.39 for 567 grams. Now visualize that grams being in the denominator of the fraction. We want to get ounces down there. So to get rid of the grams, we need to multiply by the conversion fact. Let's see, grams is on the bottom. So in order to cancel units, we need to have grams on the top. So we need to multiply times 28.45 grams divided by one ounce. That way when you write out your fractions, we've got a gram on the bottom and then a gram on the top and they cancel and it'll leave us in units of $2.39 per ounce. So that will cancel the units the way we want them to so that we end up in dollars per ounce. So to actually do this math, we'll do 2.39 and then we, I'm going to go and multiply times the other number on top, which is 28.45 and then divide by the bottom, which is 567, and then there's technically a 1 down there, but we don't need to multiply times 1. So this tells us that our Heinz mustard is 12 cents per ounce. So it's going to be the better deal. You can get more of it for a less price. So Heinz is the better price because it's only 12 cents per ounce versus the Alta store, which was 31 cents per ounce. All right, let's do one more. So this one's looking at Benadryl and your dog. So it says the standard dosage for oral Benadryl for a dog is one milligram per pound per body weight given twice a day. If your dog weighs 4.2 kilograms, how many milligrams of Benadryl should she be given per dose? And again, we will give you conversion facts. We know that one kilogram is equal to 2.205 pounds. All right, so let's start with what we know. We know that our dog weighs 4.2 kilograms. The milligram dosage is milligram per pound. So we need to get from kilograms to pounds. So if we take our kilogram weight of the dog and multiply it times 2.205 pounds divided by one kilogram, that way we'll have a kilogram up top and then a kilogram on the bottom. They cancel, leaving us in pounds. And then once we get to pounds, we can multiply times the fact it's one milligram per, anytime you see per, that means divide. So one milligram per pound of body weight. That way we have a pound up top and a pound on the bottom, they cancel. And the only units we'll be left with is milligrams. And that's what they're wanting to find out. How many milligrams should the dog get? So we converted our units, time to do the math. So we'll have 4.2 times 2.205, then dividing by one times one divided by one. We don't need to do that. This tells us that our dog needs to get 9.26 milligrams per dose. All right, so now we're trying to figure out how many milliliters per day should the dog get if the Benadryl comes in 12.5 milligrams per five milliliters. 
let's start with what we know. We know that the dog gets 9.26, and you can always round to two decimal places. This is milligrams per, remember per means divide, dose. Well, if it's given twice a day, that means we need to get two doses per day. So if we multiply times two doses per day, the doses cancel, and this leaves us in units milligram per day, which is getting closer, but we don't want milligrams per day, we want milliliters per day. So now we've got a milligram up top. If we multiply that times a milligram on the bottom, the milligrams will cancel. So let's switch this conversion factor around so it's five milliliters on top divided by 12.5 milligrams in the bottom. So we've got the 9.26 milligrams per dose times two doses per day times five milliliters for every 12.5 milligrams. And that will cancel again the milligrams. It's um, taking up two lines on my screen, but that's just one long line going across the milligram on top and the milligram on the bottom cancel. When we do that, scooch over so you can see it, the milligrams cancel, and this will leave us in units of milliliters per day. So if we do the math, so we've got the 9.26 times the 2 times the 5 divided by 12.5 to see that our dog should get 7.41 milliliters per day of Benadryl.